What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today we're focusing on Andrew Hammond and the uh, amazing run him and the Senators have had. The Hamburglar, who was given a hamburger after the game the other day, which straight isn't playing Cal for the California teams. You know, in and out is the way to go. Or I think there's in and out in Phoenix too, and they might even be in Dallas. But if you don't like in and out burger, then I don't know what to tell you. But you know, you look at what he's done this year. Had an 8.98 save percentage in Binghamton. And now has a 956 8 percentage and 135 goals against average. He is playing out of his friggin' mind right now for the Sens. And, uh, you know, 11 0 and 1. Really, all of a sudden, they're back in it. They're four points behind the Bruins with the game at hand for the last wild card spot. The Bruins, you know, losing a stinker to the, you know, AHL, I mean, the Buffalo Sabres, excuse me. Um, wasn't exactly a good look for them, but, you know, Ottawa's hanging tough. And, uh, you know, a team that was written off for dead. You know, how many times has a, you know, journeyman backup goalie who, you know, played at Bowling Green was undrafted out of the Vernon Vipers of the uh, the British Columbia Hockey League. I mean, you know, this is one hell of a story. And, uh, you know, you look what he's doing. He actually played with uh, good fans, you know, good friends slash fan of the show, uh, Mike Collins up in Vernon back in the day. Just thought I'd throw that one out there. But, uh, you know, again, you look what he's doing. It's like, Jesus Ottawa, I wrote him off as mediocre, mediocre goal, and all that, and now it's like, oh yeah, they're they're really, really, really good um, with him back there, and uh, you know Eric Carlson's really playing like a Norris candidate right now. You know he's contributing in all areas. You know really providing that offense from the back end that saw him be a uh, you know Norris finalist back in 2000 or win the Norris 2012. Excuse me, I don't know, finalist. Dumbass. Uh, but, you know, this is just a, a remarkable, you know, young team. And, uh, you know, Hammond's on a hot. I mean, him and, and, you know, Devin Dubnik are both one of the best stories in terms of goaltending the last few weeks. But um, you look at the the Senators make up. Obviously, Carlson's 24. Hammond's, I think, 28. Um, you know, they got a really bright future. And I think if Hammond can become a consistent number one goalie, which he's never been in the past, I mean, you look at the, in the AHL, I think the. The Adirondack Phantoms, or whatever the the, the Lee Valley, the Ike Valley Phantoms, scored three goals in 21 seconds on them. It's like Jesus, that's uh, never a good sign. But you look at the young players in Ottawa. If Hammond can be, you know, a, a force on the back end, on the you know from the crease out, that helps them win games. This Senator team's rebuild will be, um, you know, very smooth as they'll be, uh, you know, pretending for a long time. I like what Moss Stone's doing. I really like what Mike Hoffman's doing. And, uh, you know, the Sens will be big-time players, uh, you know, going forward. It's a great story for, for hockey. Uh, you know, you get a roof the underdog. I'm not saying Ottawa's going to make the playoffs, but, you know, the fact that they're playing this well with a no-name goalie right now speaks volumes with the character in that locker room and in that team. So, you know, see what happens. Anyway, that's why I got some sort of the power play with CJ on uh, Andrew Hammond's hot streak with the Ottawa Senators. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.